what's up guys uh today i'll be discussing spring block system a very simple system spring block system horizontal spring spring block system okay and we'll see how uh, a spring block system motion is actually simple harmonic motion okay so let's start so suppose there is a spring and there is a mass m attached to the spring the spring constant of the spring is k okay the surface is frictionless so mu is equal to 0 mu is coefficient of friction coefficient of friction is 0 so it's a smooth surface okay this is the initial position so let me call it x is equal to 0 now if i stretch the spring stretch the spring and bring the mass to a new position let me call it x is equal to a so i'm stretching the spring by a and if i leave the mass okay what will happen is that the mass will start to show a motion okay it will execute a motion and we have to prove that that motion is simple harmonic motion okay first of all why is the mass going to move the reason is when the mass is at the initial position x is equal to 0 the spring is uncompressed the spring is at its natural length so in natural health and natural <laughs> length situation the tension or the restoring force in the spring is 0 if if you know the restoring force the restoring force in a spring the restoring force in a spring is equal to minus kx where x is the elongation elongation from natural length okay so this is the natural length and at the natural length x elongation in the spring is zero so the restoring force is zero okay but when you extend it by a then the restoring force becomes minus k into a so minus signifies that the restoring force the direction of restoring force is opposite to the direction of a so here a is in the positive x direction if i call this direction as positive and this direction as negative so the elongation is in the positive x direction so the restoring force is in the negative direction and this restoring force is what drawing the mass backwards okay so the mass will come backward when the mass is at its initial position when the mass is uh, after you have stretched it and you have left it it will move towards the mean position when it uh, when it is at its mean position the elongation is zero but the mass has attained some velocity and due to this velocity the mass will start moving in the negative direction and it will start compressing the spring okay and when the compression is again maximum the spring is compressed now the spring will start pushing the mass backward towards the mean position okay so obviously in, uh, theoretically speaking it looks fine to me okay that it will execute simple harmonic motion but how to prove it mathematically so for that i want you to know that to prove that any motion is simple harmonic motion we 
try to express acceleration of the body in a special form okay what does it mean is that if you are able to prove if you are able to prove that d2x plus dt square d2x upon dt square plus omega square x is equal to 0 if you are able to prove this if you are able to express the acceleration or if you are able to relate the acceleration with the position in such a way that I can say that acceleration plus omega square x is equal to 0 if you are able to do this then you can say that the motion is simple harmonic motion very simple so what does it mean that in the above problem I have to find the acceleration of the block and if I am able to prove that acceleration of the block is something like this it is related to x it is directly proportional to x and there is a constant which is attached to it <coughs> okay then I can say that the motion is simple harmonic motion if you prove that acceleration turns out to be minus omega square x square then this is not simple harmonic motion you have to be very clear that you have to prove acceleration is a simple linear function of x okay let's see how we'll do it it's very simple so again let me draw it this is the mass when you extend the spring by a let us say I've extended it by a certain distance x so the mass will experience a restoring force and that restoring force will be kx okay so what can I write I can write that net force on the block is equal to mass of the block into acceleration of the block okay and all of us know that the net force on this block is nothing but kx and be very sure that we have to write it as minus kx okay so I'll write minus kx is equal to mass into acceleration okay so from here I can write that ma plus kx is equal to 0 if I divide both the sides by m I will get a plus k by m into x is equal to 0 and I can write this as a plus omega square x is equal to 0 where omega is nothing but under root k by m so have I been able to express the acceleration in that standard form in that special form okay I have I have proved that acceleration is a linear function of x since it is a linear function hence the motion is simple harmonic motion and it is interesting to note that the moment you prove that acceleration is linear function you can actually find the time period of oscillation so this omega here that you are seeing is simply angular frequency and we all know that angular frequency is related to time period by this expression angular frequency is equal to 2 pi upon capital T so we have already seen that omega is under root k by m so what will be the time period time period will be 2 pi upon omega so 2 pi under root m by k okay so again a spring block system is a type of simple harmonic motion it, it executes a type of simple harmonic motion and we can find the time period of the oscillation by using this differential equation approach where we express the acceleration of the block in uh, in that special form uh, we express it as a linear function of x and from that 